Hello Cancer, this is your reading for the upcoming week. Let's see what's going on with you guys for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What is the energy around Cancer? Please show me the energy that's around Cancer currently. What's the energy around Cancer currently? Look at that. Five of Wands, Leo energy. Um, there's definitely some conflict around you guys. It could be uh, within you, internal conflict, or it could be with someone else. Okay. So let's see what is challenging you guys and get a little more information here. What's challenging? Cancer. It's challenging Cancer. Queen of Cups. This is what someone else I feel. There's someone that you feel like has um, removed their emotions or they're not so, they're not lending their emotions to you in the way that you would like. There's also, I feel, a need to not just react to situations or a particular situation and be more passive and listen is what I'm getting here um, because for some of you there is an aggression that's coming across okay <clears throat> what is the underlying issue here for cancer underlying issue for cancer King of Wands, there is an aggression that's coming across um, not being so soft in situations, being a little too hard maybe on somebody. It's time to listen a little bit more and not react so quickly. I'm feeling some of you are kind of angry about something here. Again, that very Leo energy. It's not working. It's not working. Um, some of you have may may have just gone through a breakup or something has happened that has made you very upset and angry um, at someone. That Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Cancer. Crowning thoughts for Cancer. The world. I feel like somebody's not really listening to you. Is what I'm getting here. Somebody's not listening to you. Somebody is is um, basically not taking your thoughts and your views into consideration. There's something that you feel like you know that this person needs to listen to. Like you have more experience or something like that. Um, you know what you're doing, this person not necessarily, you know. But I'm feeling like you guys are seasoned. And you're really not with the bullshit. And I feel like there's somebody that's trying you. You feel like somebody's trying you. And I see you want to start over. I see you, um, you know, having gone through a lot of shit in your life. And you feel like it's time out for the bullshit. Let's cut it out. Listen to me. I'm telling you what I know, not what I think. I'm telling you what I know. And I feel some of you are saying that. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy here with the world. And you're stuck with that. It's like um, you're not budging. Because you've been through, you've had certain experiences and you've been through certain things and, and you feel like this person needs to um, listen to you, hear you out. Because you know what the hell you're talking about. But, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. That is, that is the thing here that I'm getting. What's coming in for... Cancer, Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. 
some of you are separating from somebody and feeling rejected. Feeling like you're wasting your time and that you just need to move on. Find somebody that reciprocates what it is that you have to offer here. Taurus energy. I see you possibly um, exploring other options in the near future and giving up on somebody. How does Cancer feel about their current situation? How does Cancer feel about their current situation? Three of Wands. <laughs> You're waiting on what you deserve. You feel like you deserve better is what I'm getting from you. This is Aries energy. You feel like you've done everything that you could possibly do. You've put yourself out there. You've 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 you're kind of guiding guiding um, yourself to receive what you feel like you deserve to receive. I see you turning your back on someone here. What's influencing Cancer? What's influencing Cancer? Five of Cups. Feeling down. You feel like somebody is rejecting you. You feel like somebody is is um, ignoring you. You feel hurt. That's what's driving you right now. There is a lot of conflict. Not only do you have the tower here, but you have three fives. That's turmoil. That's emotional turmoil. That is living in turmoil. And that is wreaking havoc on you. In every aspect of your being. I feel a lot of you guys are going through some shit right now. And um, it's pretty tough. This is basically, you know, you not getting along with someone and not seeing the love that's really there because of the conflict that you have with this person. Okay? That Scorpio energy. People always say this is crying over spilled milk. What's done is done. You know, again. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Hopes or fears for cancer. Two of swords that you won't be able to see the truth. That you won't be able to see things clearly. For some of you, you're feeling misguided. You're feeling misled. Okay. You want to be able to see things for what they really are. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys are wanting to move on from someone here. To of sources, Libra energy. What is the outcome for cancer? What is the outcome for cancer? Four of Cups. Waiting on that love. Waiting on that love. But it's one particular person that I feel like you guys are um, wanting to be with. I feel like there's a certain person, type of person even for some of you, that you want to be with. Right now I'm feeling like this stagnancy um, in your emotions. Like, either you're upset or you're feeling like I don't want to be with anyone. I don't even want to love them. I don't. I want to take my emotions out of this because there's not a sense of of um, unity. There's not a sense of being happy. Either you're upset or you're void of emotion. And I feel like in order to protect yourself. You guys are going to try to remove your emotions completely, not see anybody, not date anybody, or if you date somebody, not allow your emotions to come into play. Because there is a breakup, there is um, uh, 
discord between you and someone else and it's causing a lot of grief here for you. I do feel like somebody is wanting, they still want you, but I don't think this person is doing enough for you is what the issue is here. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon.